Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make my mum's lovely lemon and poppy seed cake. So today I'm going to take you through all the process, how to make this lovely and moist cake. Uh, so obviously how to incorporate all the ingredients to get a nice moist sponge and of course the topping which is really nice and lush and creamy. And of course there's a few wee extra tips on what not to do when baking a cake. So come on, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started making this lovely sponge cake. So as you can see here, I've got all the ingredients all weighed out, so it's nice and easy. Um, so we've got 500 grams of self-rising flour, uh, 500 grams of uh, butter that's been warmed uh, in the microwave, uh, just so it's nice and soft. Uh, we have uh, 500 grams of caster sugar, eight eggs, we have two lemon juice, the, the, the juice from two lemons, the rind from two lemons, and we have uh, the poppy seeds in here which I think is 40 grams of the poppy seeds. So that's all the ingredients. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cream the uh, sugar and the, the butter. So, um, so you don't have to sieve the sugar obviously, just pop that straight in. So 500 grams, just pop that in the bowl. Now you have to make sure that your butter has definitely been warmed up. If, if it's just softer no more and not really at the same temperature as the eggs at so room temperature uh, you can get a curdling effect which isn't very good. Now I'm actually using Spanish butter I normally try and go to the UK shops over in Spain and get UK butter because it is different um, so uh, sometimes it can go a bit more oily so I think, I don't know, it's just a different way of making butter, I think, but hopefully we'll be, we'll be alright. So, um, so just close that down, and we just want to put it onto, oh, that's strange, that was on number one. There we go, that's fine. Um, so I just want to put it up to number one. Okay, okay, and then we just want to cream the, uh, the sugar and the, the butter. So just bring that together. And then once we've got that together, we've got our eggs and our flour. Yeah, so it has got a slight curdle look about it. I think it's definitely that butter. It doesn't normally look like that. So I'm going to scrape it down. Just make sure there's definitely no lumps. Um, so I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, so I just okay, so you can see there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Put that back in there. Okay, and then what we want to do is just slowly start adding a wee bit of egg, a wee bit of flour, a wee bit of egg, a wee bit of flour back and forwards. Okay. So um, let's pop a little bit of egg in. Come on. And a wee bit of flour. And just let that mix together. I'm not going to put it up high. As I say, I, I, I usually try and get uh, UK, like Lord Pack, or is it Country Wise, or something like that, butter. Um, but they, they didn't have any. So um, it's just the exact same price, actually, but it just seems to have a different uh, consistency. Okay, so that looks good. So all I'm going to do, is, we'll just fast forward this wee bit. I'm just going to go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward until it's all mixed in and we've got a nice uh, mix, okay? So, see you in a second. Okay, so, uh, so I've got the last little bit that I'm just about to add in, so just pop that in. Remember to sieve your flour as well, it's important to sieve your flour. Move these out of the way. I can't think it was in there. Oh, butter. <laughs> oh, I've got such a short memory. 
Right, let that all come together. Now, the, the, lemon, the lemon that I used um, was quite an old lemon, I think, because the skin was very, very thick, which was thinking as if it was quite an old lemon. And I can't believe how quickly that's actually dried out. It's interesting. Um, and not that much juice from it, but we're just going to go with it, because that's what we... That sort. So this, this is actually my mum's recipe, and my mum normally makes this as a fruit loaf. Eh, not a fruit loaf, it's a loaf tin. Um, so I've just doubled it up uh, to see how we got on making it into an actual cake. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what it's like. If it's anything like the, fruit, the, loaf, the loaf cake, um, it's yummy yummy. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's all mixed together, so just stop there. Okay, bring that up. Now it looks fine, it's got a slight look that it's, it could curdle, um, but it's definitely just holding itself together or not. Now if it does curdle, don't worry, you can still bake a cake when it curdles. Um, it's just better if it's not, but it just, because once it goes in the oven, it generally comes back together again. So what, what do you mean by curdling? It just looks like it's split. It looks like the, the egg and the butter is not mixing together and it kind of gives it that lumpy look. Um, so again, if the camera's over here. Um, so you can see it's not, it's not that bad, this one. It's, it's fine. It's actually quite holding itself quite, quite well together. Okay. Right. Okay, so what we want to do now. Right, as we want to add uh, the lemon, uh, the zest, and the poppy seeds. And we're going to mix them through and then slowly add in the, the juice, the lemon juice. So just mixing it through. When you add the lemon juice, that's when obviously we could get a, a, a bit of a curdle going on. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to just add the lemon juice a wee bit at a time. Okay. Okay, there we go. We used, to work in, we used to work in the bakery, we used to make buttercream. Sometimes the buttercream would split. Um, and what we would do is put it over hot water like a bain marine and paddle it back together and it would, it would come back again. But you don't have to do that with cakes. It's usually, it's usually because your egg and your, your butter uh, should be at the same temperature, room temperature. Um, so if your butter's cold and you put it in and try and do the, you do the creaming and it looks a bit stiff and then when you add the egg, um, that's when you can get a curdle effect happens, which is not nice. Right, that look, this is looking good. Okay, I'm using this a metal on metal, I should, have the, I should have got the wooden spoon out, but never mind. Right. There we go. So what I'm going to do now, you can see there, nice consistency. Mm. I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to do as a quick tidy up. I forgot to uh, grease the, the cake tin, so it's an eight inch square cake tin, and I'll be back in a wee jiffy. Okay, so now what we have to do is put it in the oven. So 150, it should be warmed up already. 150, um, as I say, for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Um, so we'll check it in an hour, let's we'll see what it's like. Uh, I reckon it'll probably another, another 10, 15 minutes. So, so I will see you in a wee jiffy. Now it's time to lick the bowl, I mean wash the dishes. Right, so as you see here, we've got the ingredients ready for making the, the frosting. Um, so we have uh, one kg of ice and sugar. We have one lemon, so we've grated it. Uh, we've got the, the rind, uh, the zest. We've got uh, the juice, which is not much juice, but it doesn't need that much juice actually. That may even be too much, just from one lemon. A wee, a wee bit of vanilla. We've got uh, 270 grams of uh, Philadelphia, and um, we've got 110 grams of uh, butter. Um, so this is actually salted butter, um, but you can use salted uh, or unsalted, uh, your choice. So what we want to do is we want to cream 
the filly and the butter. So we'll mix it up so it's nice and smooth. Once that's done, then we'll add the lemon and some ice and sugar, but not all of it. Okay, so that's that in there. And then we pop the butter in. So the butter's been soft in the, the microwave, so, it, so, it's, so it, it mixes well. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. We've got a wee camera above, so we're going to try and. I don't know if it'll stretch that far because the cable's not that long, but we'll see. Almost. Yeah, there we go. Right, so just pop that on. Only. So I've got new gadgets. I don't do much buttercream, but I saw these um, from Kate Star, and it's just for doing all the patterns on the side of the cake or on the top. So I thought there would be a shot of just doing some wiggly lines on top of the cake. Brings back memories of uh, working in the bakery. Okay, so that looks nice and smooth. Okay, so just bring that back up and I just want to give it a wee scrape down. Smells nice. Right, so what I want to do now, uh, so we're going to add a little bit of ice and sugar. So just maybe, what's that about? A third. There we go. I'll do it. And then it could add to the, the, the rind. There we go. And now we splash the lemon, but not too much, just maybe about half of that. There we go. Right, so just switch that back on again. And then we can just add, so we use just one, one lid of the vanilla extract. So that's about half a teaspoon. There we go. Okay, so just let that come together. Mmm, smells nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just get the ice and sugar. Okay, and I'm just going to slowly start just adding ice and sugar and now that's starting to come together. But as I'm watching the consistency, it still looks very thin, so I'm not going to add that. I'm just going to add it when I feel like I can, can get away with it. It still looks very, very soft. Now, I sieve this essence sugar because I'm over here in Spain, there's a lot of humidity. And it, it is quite a lumpy ice and sugar, even though it's just been sieved. Uh, I'm not used to being in a more humid environment, so. Um, they actually, they, I use Tate and Lyle over here, but um, their their ice sugar comes in plastic containers, which kind of makes sense to stop the, the moisture. Um, but it's not as sweet, strangely. Okay. So you can hear the motor starting to strong a little bit. You can just see it. You see it a little more in the, the camera above there. Okay, and then just add more. There. Right, let's just see how that goes. Yep, that's that's good. It's, it's going nice and thick. So now I don't want to add any more of that lemon because I think it's going to be too much. So. Turn that up. So I, I probably use about half that. Okay, so probably about a tablespoon of uh, of lemon juice. 
the, the rind from the lemons uh, give it, giving it plenty of flavour anyway. So that's good, so there we go. So what I'll do is I'll switch that off. I mean, it needs to mix for another two or three minutes, but I just want to show you how nice the consistency, can you see that? So you can see the nice consistency there. Okay, so it's definitely got a nice thickness about it, so it's going to spread lovely on top of the cake. Okay, so I'm going to just pop that back on, and we're we'll back in a wee jiffy. Okay, so that's been a couple of minutes, it's been on there, so I'll just bring it up, mmm, definitely looks good, it looks really, really creamy, let's just have a look, okay, yeah, so you can see a really nice consistency there, okay, so you can see there we've got a really nice, nice creamy consistency, it looks very smooth as well, it doesn't look very grainy, which is always good, so what we'll do is just move this out of the way, let me bring this over here. Uh, okay, so what I thought we'd do is to apply it to the cake, um, just because we're just doing it on top, is we'll just uh, pipe it on and then just finish off a wee bit of a comb, a comb over. Now I'm just going to add all of this in here, because whatever's left, if it's in a piping bag, it can just get popped in the fridge. pop it on the other wee cake that's behind the scenes. Okay, so just uh, put that down there. And if I just get a wee pair of scissors, just snip the end. You can put a nozzle on if you want, I'm just going to snip the end. There we go. Right, so obviously the cake's cold because it just came out of the oven last night. Okay, just spin the piping bag around. So all I want to do is uh, edge the cake with the, the frosting. Oops, until I've not done this for a while. But you can see it's got a really nice thick consistency, which is really good. Now I'm just going to pop that over here so it pulls it out there. That's better. Okay. And then we just want to then obviously fill the top. Actually, it looks quite nice just like that. You can see all the bits of yellow, which looks lovely, nice and natural looking. So that looks nice, just like that. And then uh, I've got my fancy tools that I got, look. Now, I'm thinking maybe, um, let's just see. Have a wee shot and just see what happens. No, 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 no. So what we want to do is just get it smooth first and then go over that one. Get rid of the lumps. There we go. Okay, and then just give it a wee, just a wee pattern on top. Just. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. Fantastic. So there we go. So um, one lovely uh, lemon poppy cake with a lovely cream cheese uh, lemon frosting. Okay, so uh, here we go. So I've just transferred the cake onto the wooden uh, chopping board. Uh, and then I thought we could, um, obviously, there's not much to see, is there? So I thought we'd, give a, we'd cut a wee wedge out of it so we can see what it looks like inside. Um, and then we can just get the, get the kettle on. So uh, so I've got my knife, so uh, I'm going to just pop in here. This is weird, isn't it? Because you don't really cut a cake. You don't cut your own cakes usually, so this is a bit strange. I know a lot of people do this online. Ben does this all the time. He cuts his cakes. Okay, so I just want to cut out the middle just so we can see what the middle looks like. Okay, so down. Oh, we can hear that nice crunch. Oh, nice clean cut. Look at that. So let's go for a big wedge about this size. Oh, I can hear that nice crunch in the bottom. Now, I'm going to have to obviously, no, I, normally you do it all the way along, but I want to try and keep it nice for the photo. A woodpecker noise. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's just see if we can get this to come out. Please. Yep. There we go. 
Right, let's see. Oh, lovely. Look at that. I'll just bring that right out. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looks really yummy. Good. Oh, that's really good. Yep, very, very happy with that. So you can look some nice consistency. Just a good, that's a good daddy slice uh, portion, isn't it? That's a, that's a Paul portion. Okay, so that looks really good. Nice and yummy. It's got a good crumb all the way through. Yeah, excellent. No there we go. Bottom. And no soggy bottom, definitely no soggy bottom. Well, I suppose that's the bottom there. Okay, so there we go. So, uh, yum yum. Time, definitely time to get the kettle on. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. So, uh, thanks to Mum for giving us another nice recipe. And I shall see you again soon. Bye! Hi, welcome back. So just to give you some other ideas about this lovely cake. So uh, I suppose the big one is um, the actual cake itself. Now obviously when the cake comes out of the oven, so this has came out last night and it's not been in the fridge at all. So it's got a really nice crumb, nice and firm. Uh, you can see it's definitely got that moisture, so it's a very sticky cake, uh, which is lovely. But what we've got to think about is carving the cake. So if you're doing this cake for like a teddy bear or whatever it is, it really is best to be frozen, okay? So freeze it. So pop it in the freezer, uh, up to three months in the freezer. But of course, when you bring it out and defrost it, uh, you're gonna get a really nice carve from it. So if you do it fresh, just, you can see all the crumbly bits on the board there. It will just crumble and it'll give you a bit of a nightmare. So, uh, so freeze it. If you, can't, if you don't want to freeze it, then just pop it in the fridge overnight, just to let it go a little bit harder, uh, which makes it much, much easier uh, to carve the cake. Now, the topping on this is obviously lovely. Um, now, it's cream cheese frosting, so you've got to be, remember that it really needs to be kept uh, refrigerated. So if you're gonna do a wedding cake or a novelty cake, um, you, could, you could get away doing like a, a naked style cake or a fresh cake, it's made in the morning and it's served up uh, that day. Um, or if you're going to do this as a, a use a sponge cake, um, I would probably do white chocolate ganache with a little bit of lemon curd uh, mixed in. So you could do lemon curd on the sponge when you when you layer, so lemon curd, and then pipe your buttercream on top to, to layer it up. So you've still got that lemony taste. Um, um, did I say buttercream there? I can't remember. Did I say buttercream? Yeah. Um, or obviously white chocolate ganache. So you, uh, lemon curd with a white chocolate ganache. Uh, my little claim to fame is that the Queen uh, loves my lemon and uh, white chocolate cake. So lemon and white chocolate works perfectly as well, especially for wedding cakes and cakes that are going to be sat on the shelf for a couple of days. Okay, so uh, I can't say much more than that apart from it's time to get the kettle on and have some yummy cake. See you later, bye! Hi, welcome back to all the pro members. Um, so it, it was quite interesting there because um, we've never priced up a sponge from scratch uh, in a tutorial before. It's always just been the cakes. So it was quite interesting. Uh, what a, a really big highlight was how expensive it is to buy UK products here in Spain because back in uh, because the, it was actually three or four times the price. Uh, the problem is that buying some of the Spanish products here it just doesn't work the same as I was saying in the tutorial. Um, so there's not much to talk about because obviously it's just a cake. It's just a sponge cake. So but the, the main thing with this one is, um, obviously, the meat, the meat problem I had was bringing it out of the oven too quickly. So make sure uh, uh, to check it. So definitely 1 hour 45 minutes at 150 before you even open the oven door. And then that's going to stop any of the, the dome uh, collapsing, uh, which is what we want to happen. Um, and what else? Um, Oh yeah, just the frosting. Obviously, this is yummy, 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 but maybe not so practical for doing and um, cakes that can be sat on the shelf where you're you're working on them. So uh, this frosting is perfect for doing cupcakes with your lemon cakes, um, or doing cakes that are baked and, and uh, freshed, uh, iced, and out the same day would be fine as well. So they really want that cream cheese frosting. If not, then it's best to obviously do a white chocolate ganache for that one. So I've already talked about that and the other ideas. Um, so the cost of this one, so it costs seven pounds, is that right? Yeah, worked out, it's seven pounds for the ingredients uh, to make this cake. Now that doesn't include obviously your time and your overheads, so that was just the, purely for the cost of it. Uh, and then you've got the, the frosting top, which works at about five pounds uh, for the frosting, uh, just to make the, the frosting. So it's quite expensive overall. So what's that, seven, five, 12, 12 pounds. So £12 to make the cake and the frosting on top. Now, interestingly, if you were to cut this up to sell at slices um, for, a, say it was a cafe, I mean, that's probably quite a good slice. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So 10 slices at £2.50 is how much? 10 times 25 pounds. Yeah, so, yeah, that sounds, that sounds about right. Um, so you're gonna, you, you, so that's pretty much double the, 
double it roughly ish, is it 12? Yeah, no, it's not far off it. So, so we made the, the cupcake cafe bar. We used to bake off a 10 inch round, I think it was a 10 inch round. And we used to do this, some, some of this, we just cut it in slices, the, the lovely topping on top. And it was two pounds, it was either 2.50 or three pounds. Actually, it might be two pounds a slice. Two ninety five. It was two ninety five a slice. Um, so it's it's quite a good a, a quite a good quick turnaround. So of course, if you've got local cafes in your area and you've got your license for your kitchen, then of course it's quite a good easy easy way to make a little bit extra money. And um, because all, it, it takes how long? Not long to bake the cake. Pop the frosting on, and then you can sell the cake, and they can make a wee bit of profit from it as well. Um, so yeah, so. That's about it. I don't know what else to say. All I can say is I really, really, really need to get this kettle on now so I can have a bit of this cake. See you again soon. Bye-bye.